Hello everyone, welcome to weekly current affair quiz. Let's start today's quiz. First question is which organization signed an MOU with the Directorate of Indian Army Veterans for Project Naman? State Bank of India, HDFC Bank Limited, Indian Overseas Bank or Axis Bank? The correct answer is option B, HDFC Bank Limited. The HDFC Bank Limited signed an MOU with the Directorate of Indian Army Veterans for Project Naman. The project entails establishing facilitation and grievance redressal centers for army veterans and the next of kin. Next question is what was one of the pioneering achievements of the Bank of India in terms of technology? Establishing a fully computerized branch in 1969, introducing the health court system in 1982, becoming the first nationalized bank in India or establishing the first ATM in 1997. The correct answer is option B, introducing the health court system in 1982. Bank of India was founded on 7th September 1906 by a group of eminent businessmen from Mumbai. The bank was under private ownership and control till July 1969 when it was nationalized along with 13 other banks. It pioneered the introduction of the health court system in 1982 for evaluating or rating its credit portfolio. Next question is why did the General Assembly designate 7th September as the International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies? To celebrate clean air achievements, to emphasize climate change mitigation efforts, to promote international cooperation on air quality or to raise awareness about air pollution's impact on ecosystems? The correct answer is option C, to promote international cooperation on air quality. The General Assembly decided to designate 7th September as the International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies to emphasize the need for further efforts to improve air quality and reduce air pollution on a global scale. This year's theme of Together for Clean Air focuses on the need for stronger partnerships, increased investment and shared responsibility to overcome air pollution. Next question is, what is the significance of lot quality assurance sampling in the context of antimicrobial resistance? It is a cost-effective method for manufacturing antibiotics. It is used for assessing the economic impact of resistance. It efficiently estimates antimicrobial resistance prevalence or it is primarily used in resource-rich settings. The correct answer is option C. It efficiently estimates antimicrobial resistance prevalence. Recently, Indonesian researchers have tested a cheaper way of monitoring antimicrobial resistance that could be a key tool for developing countries. Lot quality assurance sampling is described as a promising approach to efficiently estimate antimicrobial resistance prevalence and guide treatment decisions, especially in resource-limited settings. Next question is, how often do naked eye comet sightings like comet Nishimura occur on average? Once a year, once a decade, once a century or once in a lifetime? The correct answer is option B, once a decade. Recently, Nishimura Comet was 78 million miles from Earth next week, providing the best opportunity to view it without a telescope. Such naked eye comet sightings occur on average once a decade, making this event an exceptional occurrence in astrophysics. Next question is, what are the main components of the Ashtadhatu alloy used in the Natraj statue unveiled recently? Copper and zinc, copper, zinc and lead, bronze and gold or silver and iron? The correct answer is option B, copper, zinc and lead. Touted as the world's tallest Natraj statue made of Ashtadhatu that is octo alloy adorned, the Bharat Mandapam, the venue of the G20 summit in the national capital. The alloy comprises copper 87%, zinc 10%, lead 3% and trace quantities of tin, silver, gold and mercury with iron used as support. Next question is, how can changes in the names of states and union territories be officially made in India? Through a simple majority vote in the state legislature, through approval by the union home ministry and a state government notification, through a constitutional amendment with a two-thirds majority in parliament or through a referendum among the state's residents. The correct answer is option B, through approval by the Union Home Ministry and a state government notification. From constituent assembly debates to interventions in the Supreme Court, using the name Bharat over India has been a fraught issue. 
changes in the names of states and union territories require approval from the union home ministry followed by a state government notification in the official gazette next question is what organization conducted the most extensive study on invasive species and published the assessment report on invasive alien species and their control unicef ipcc ipbes or who the correct answer is option c ipbes recently the ipbes that is intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services released the report assessment report on invasive alien species and their control the report said that invasive alien species are one of the five major direct drivers of biodiversity loss globally alongside land and sea use change direct exploitation of organisms climate change and pollution next question is what is the proposed name for the newly discovered species of planktomycetes bacteria poriferisferia heterotrophics planktomycetes zrk32 nitrogenophilus planktonicus or microbacterium marine the correct answer is option a poriferisferia heterotrophics A new species of marine bacteria that reproduces through a unique budding process and releases viruses to facilitate nitrogen metabolism has been discovered by researchers. The genomics, physiological, and phylogenetic analysis indicate that strain ZRK32 is a novel species and is proposed to be named Poriferisfera heterotrophics. Next question is: What is the main objective of the Malawi Mission Teacher Training Program launched recently? to provide free laptops to all teachers in india to offer tailored training programs for teachers in higher educational institutions to promote the use of educational technology in schools or to establish new universities in india the correct answer is option b to offer tailored training programs for teachers in higher educational institutions organized by the university grants commission in association with the ministry of education the malviya mission teacher training program aims to provide tailored training programs for teachers this program will work for the capacity building of faculty members in higher educational institutions next question is how does leucism as observed in the white sambar deer in news recently differ from albinism in animals leucism is a condition caused by a lack of melatonin in animal skin while albinism is a condition where the pigmentation of an animal skin is missing Leucism causes white or pale skin while albinism is a condition where the animal skin remains normally pigmented leucism and albinism are the same conditions both characterized by a lack of pigmentation in an animal skin or leucism is a condition that affects an animal's eyes causing them to turn pink or reddish while albinism affects the skin causing it to be white or pale The correct answer is option B leucism causes white or pale skin while albinism is a condition where the animal skin remains normally pigmented recently the leucistic sambar has been documented in the sangam range of kaveri wildlife sanctuary leucism is a condition caused by a lack of pigmentation in an animal skin resulting in white or pale skin albinism on the other hand is characterized by a lack of pigmentation in both the skin and the eyes with the eyes often appearing pink or reddish next question is what was the theme for unesco's international literacy day in 2023 building inclusive and sustainable societies achieving universal literacy by 2025 promoting literacy for a world in transition building the foundation for sustainable and peaceful societies or global cooperation for lifelong learning The correct answer is option C promoting literacy for a world in transition building the foundation for sustainable and peaceful societies the theme for unesco's international literacy day in 2023 was promoting literacy for a world in transition building the foundation for sustainable and peaceful societies this theme underscores the importance of literacy in achieving sustainable and peaceful societies next question is during the indian independence movement govind vallabh pant actively participated in several key events which one of the following was not among his notable contributions or roles during that period leadership in the bardoli satyagraha participation in the non cooperation movement key role in salt march led by mahatma gandhi or involvement in the civil disobedience movement 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए लीडरशिप इन द बरदोली सत्याग्रह गोविंद वल्लभ पंत डिड नॉट हैव अ नोटेबल रोल इन द बरदोली सत्याग्रह हाउ एवर ही एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द अदर मैंशन इवेंट्स मेकिंग सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज एक्यूरेट रिगार्डिंग द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल्स इन एड्रेसिंग ग्लोबल एनवायरमेंटल चैलेंजेस ईवीज डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनी एमिशंस एंड हैव जीरो एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट ईवीज हैव अ मिनिमल एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट कंपेयर्ड टू ट्रेडिशनल इंटरनल कंबशन इंजन वहीकल्स ईवीज हैव अ लार्जर कार्बन फुटप्रिंट कंपेयर्ड टू ट्रेडिशनल वहीकल्स और ईवीज आर प्राइमरीली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ईवीज हैव अ मिनिमल एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट कंपेयर्ड टू ट्रेडिशनल इंटरनल कंबशन इंजन वहीकल्स इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल्स हैव अ मिनिमल एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट कंपेयर्ड टू ट्रेडिशनल इंटरनल कंबशन इंजन वहीकल्स बट देयर सस्टेनेबिलिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन फैक्टर्स सच एज द सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड बैटरी प्रोडक्शन रिफ्लेक्ट्स द रियालिटी ऑफ ईवीज while they are generally cleaner in terms of emissions their overall environmental impact depends on various factors next question is bhartendu harish chandra a prominent figure in the hindi literary and cultural renaissance is known for his pioneering efforts in various literary forms which of the following literary contributions is not associated with bhartendu harish chandra founding the first hindi theater in banaras varanasi advocating for the use of hindi in literary works and promoting its growth writing extensively in urdu poetry and prose or promoting social reform and raising awareness about societal issues through his writings the correct answer is option c writing extensively in urdu poetry and prose bhartendu harish chandra was primarily associated with the promotion of hindi language and literature while he wrote in hindi and played a crucial role in advocating for its use in literary works He was not known for extensive contributions to Urdu poetry and prose. He is known for these contributions including founding the first Hindi theater, promoting Hindi literature and addressing social issues through his writings. Next question is where will the Bharat Drone Shakti 2023 event be hosted? New Delhi, Ghaziabad, Bangalore or Mumbai? The correct answer is option B, Ghaziabad. The IAF is partnering with the Drone Federation of India to co-host the Bharat Drone Shakti 2023. The event is to be held on 25th and 26th September 2023 and will be hosted at the IAF's air base in Hindon Ghaziabad where the Indian drone industry shall give live aerial demonstrations. The primary focus of the Bharat Drone Shakti 2023 event is to demonstrate India's drone industry capabilities. Next question is in the context of Varun 23 what is meant by good order at sea ensuring compliance with maritime laws organizing naval formations efficiently achieving a high level of naval discipline or conducting naval exercises without incidents the correct answer is option A ensuring compliance with maritime laws phase 2 of the 21st edition of Varun 23 bilateral exercise between Indian and French navy was conducted in the Arabian Sea The exercise facilitates operational level interaction between the two navies to foster mutual cooperation for good order at sea. Good order at sea typically refers to maintaining compliance with international maritime laws and regulations to ensure safe and lawful maritime activities. Next question is Vinoba Bhave is credited with starting a land reform movement. What was the name of the specific technique he used to persuade land owners to donate land? सत्याग्रह सर्वोदय अहिंसा और सर्वोदय ग्रामदान द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सर्वोदय ग्रामदान भावे वॉज द फाउंडर ऑफ भूदान योजना दैट इज लैंड गिफ्ट मूवमेंट हिज टेक्निक ऑफ परसुएडिंग लैंड ओनर्स टू डोनेट लैंड टू लैंडलेस पीजेंट्स वॉज नोन एज सर्वोदय ग्रामदान विच ट्रांसलेट्स टू द गिफ्ट ऑफ अ विलेज फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ ऑल Next question is International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer is observed on which date? 10 September, 12 September, 14 September or 16 September? The correct answer is option D, 16 September. On 19 December 1994, the UN General Assembly proclaimed 16 September to be the International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer, commemorating the date when the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer was signed in 
the day was first celebrated on september 16 1995 last question is what is salem sago known for its yellow color large sized pearls pearl white color or smooth texture the correct answer is option c pearl white color the salem starch and sago manufacturers service industrial cooperative society limited popularly called as sago serve received geographical indication tag or gi tag for salem sago recently sago derived from rod tapoikas is in the form of small hard globules or pearls and is pearl white in color so that's all for today do share your scores and reviews about the program thanks for watching